Hey vibes, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brooklyn. This is Vibe with Brooklyn. And if you're not new here, hey old friends, lovely to see you back. And as you can see from the title today, we are doing something a little different, right? So I gave you all a makeup video and you guys loved it and I wanna do more for you. So I said, okay, let me give you guys something different. And today I'm going to give you guys the tea on how to smell heck good okay i've got my top five favorite fragrances for you guys and i'm here to share them with you right now so without further ado please like comment and subscribe and share my channel with any and everyone it really helps me and i would really really appreciate it so let's get straight into it number one right i'm not sure if i'm gonna have these in any particular order these are kind of just my top five what i kind of rotate around currently right now so the first one is alien goddess by mugler r.i.p to him because wow he makes amazing clothing and beautiful fragrances this right here definitely doesn't fall short so before you guys come for me i am one of those people i keep all my packages when it comes to fragrances i love packaging i am a designer so it just only makes sense but let me take it out of the packaging so you guys can see it when you open it it's got this beautiful purple coloring on the inside and we'll just take it out and this is the smaller of i think three different sizes so this is the 30 milliliters the one fluid ounce listen okay i like to be able to take certain ones on the plane so i have this and i can take it with me when i travel in my carry-on and it smells just like it's so divine first of all look at the bottle the bottle is stunning this gold is just like girl who does mugler actually think he was okay he was that one for sure let me give you guys the notes so i'm gonna be looking a little back and forth as i have notes over here so this one is considered a warm floral it has bergamot essence jasmine and bourbon vanilla in it i smell all of that in this scent um, I know some people say they smell stronger, um, they smell the vanilla stronger, and some people say they, they don't smell it at all. But on me, I think it's like a nice balance. It's very warm and just like, you could wear it out at night. But I am that girl, I love a, I love a deep warm, auntie vibes, okay? For all the aunties out there, I know y'all love it too. So I highly suggest picking this one up. Um, pick it up for you, pick it up for your friend. And yeah, like again, this one is a very bold scent. It very much gives like boss girl chic walking down the streets of New York at night. Like that's how I feel when I wear this. I just feel very, very boss. And I know that this won't be a scent that everyone enjoys, but for the, the boss girls, the girls who like the auntie, the dark, deep, dark rooted scents, I highly suggest this, so. So the next one I wanna get at is this one right here, this pretty pink box, and it is by Valentino, and it is the Born in Roma perfume. Okay, I have to give you the box because I told you, your girl has all the boxes to all of her scents, and I will forever have the boxes. So here is this one, it is pink. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce. Look at the bottle of this. But can we just get into this bottle? what huh she's here she's on the runway she's doing it this bottle is stunning it just looks so good on your vanity and you're on top of something like you have to display it you can't just let it sit in the box this one is so so beautiful right so let me get into the notes of her so like i said before 1.7 fluid ounces this cost 115 dollars so i believe the mugler was so the Mugler was one fluid ounce at 87. So you're getting more here, but it is does cost more. Um, but she's she's getting rich, okay? She's giving I'm Valentino. Like, <laughs> let me in. Okay, so this is very much so giving boss girl vibes to me as well. But even though the notes in this are black currant, jasmine, also bourbon, vanilla, wow, are these not the same? This still smells different to me. It does not smell the same as the alien. The alien to me smells a lot stronger. This to me is like, it's like, it's like medium, medium boss girl, right? Like medium rich is what I should say. This to me is more rich. Um, I reach for this one a little bit more because I feel like this is giving very much so like in the dead of the night, like I'm going to be her. I am the alien. Um, I feel like you could wear this 
in the day and at night um again heavy on the warm scents for me so i'm gonna wear mine all the time like so also if i skip mentioning or naming prices i will have everything listed in the description box below i'll also add it as descriptors across the screen to make it easier for you guys as well and yeah i'll have that link down below for you to click right into it the next one we are getting into is girl J'adore Dior, okay? If you adore her, Dior her. Is that what they say? Whatever the kids are saying. Like, all I know is Dior is that girl. She is the one. I love Dior. And this right here was like my summer go-to scent. I was spraying this left and right because it smells delectable, essentially, okay? So this is the 3.4 fluid ounces. So yes, go big or go home when it, come, when it comes to this. And, and I got a little surprise for you guys, okay? So like, my man got me this one. I didn't even pick this one out, okay? He did. He got it for me for my birthday. And I was like, wow, sir, you did excellent, amazing. So I love that. So when we open the packaging, we've got a pretty purple color. We have an even more gorgeous bottle. Like, what? This is so pretty, like, I describe this perfume as me in a bottle. This this is me. I know you guys are still getting to know me, but just know that this is me in the form of a glass bottle, okay? So I'm gonna take the top off for you guys so you can see. Oh, it smells so, so good. So this runs at $148. Also a warm floral, clearly a trend. I love warm, rich scents. So some of the key notes in this are rose and jasmine and like, I feel like when I smell this and when I smell like this, I am in like the most zen place of my life. Like, I feel like there's just like flowers all around me, but like, just like, the best smelling flowers ever. You could wear this during the day, you could wear this at night. To me, this is like a, I feel like this is a perfume that like anyone could wear. I feel like with this scent and this scent, most people might go with this one because, you know, not to down Alien, cause I really like it. Um, I feel like this would just be like a safer, warm floral route if you're not used to just like the bolder florals. I recommend this to anyone. If you haven't smelt it, just go in. Go in and smell it. You're gonna walk out with it. That's all I have to say. So the next perfume I have for you guys is this Tom Ford Solo Blanc. Okay, look at it, look at it. Beautiful packaging. Now, this is also a big gun, 3.4 fluid ounces. My best friend got this for me and I'm like, girl, you did that because I asked for the scent, but I didn't think she was gonna come through with the big daddy, okay? This is a $390 bottle of perfume. And yes, this will be in the packaging forever, okay? I display it like this. I don't display it by itself because girl, $390. I need all of it to stay on the counter, you get it? So I just opened it just like this for those that missed it. So this bottle is just like, are we actually kidding? I love how comfortable Tom Ford's packaging is. The bottle itself, it's like, you just spray, spray, spray and go. I think it's so just sleek and classy, like just so gorgeous. So the Solo Blanc, right? So I know that Tom Ford scents are not a smell that everyone is privy to. It can be auntie scents, okay? Very much so can give auntie. They can be boss girl scents. I think you have to know how to spray them on you, what to mix them with, when to wear them. That's always important. So let me give you the notes of this one. Oh, and by the way, right now it looks like Sephora is having it for $370. So you get a little 5% off with an auto replenish. This is not sponsored girl, okay? But this is an expensive bottle. And if you want to get your hands on it, I would just try to do any discount <laughs> possible. So this is a warm and spicy scent. It's got cardamom and cocoa in it. And I mean, I feel like I'm at a beach when I smell this. I feel like I'm supposed to be in paradise on the beach, spraying this all over me or having this sprayed all over me at this point. It is a, I, I like, like this scent so much. This is an acquired scent. Everybody will not like this. This is one that like, okay, I know I shouldn't be doing this because we're $390, right? I like to wear this at night. 
this is one where I just feel like I'm going to bed smelling just like, like I'm I'm going to sleep in paradise, right? I'm, I'm somewhere else when I have this on. Um, as you can see, I don't use a lot of it. I spray a pinch of it. I also wanna take the time to note that I don't always use this because it is so expensive. I like to savor the moment. I also wanted to note that I have the Mason Margiela in Beach Walk. I don't wanna say it's an exact dupe, but it has a similar cadence. Like it smells kind of buttery. They both smell buttery, but because the Margiela one is cheaper, I like to spray that more than I spray this at night. This is just like so delectable and it's so yummy. It lasts for so long. To me, at least on me it does. Like I wake up still smelling like this. Whereas Margiela doesn't last as long on me. Um, but I mean, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the price, essentially. This, I, they did it with this one. And shout out to my girl, Leah's face, cause she, she was the one who first put me on this and I have not looked back since. So yes, we've come to the very last perfume and I would be doing myself and everyone else a disservice if I didn't shout this perfume out because it is my, one of my favorites and it's not because I went for it. It's actually very, very good. And y'all need to go buy it. Last but not least girl is the Fenty perfume, right? This is the box. So it has a couple of makeup stains on it, of course. This beautiful blue color, beautiful logo on it. And I really like this packaging as well. I like the way that it just like slides open. So it slides open to reveal the perfume. Again, beautiful bottle. We will take it out. So here's the Fenty perfume. It looks like this cute, very, very cute, brown, coppery, very bronzy colored bottle it has the logo here it is just a gorgeous bottle so this fenty perfume comes in one size it's two and a half fluid ounces and it's crazy because it doesn't look like it but it is i've had my bottle for an extremely long time since it first came out and i'm not even like scratching the surface of it and i spray it a lot. It's like my go-to, oh my gosh, it just smells so good to me. I know that it's a very, this is a very special scent. It's an acquired scent. It's an auntie scent. It's a rich girl vibes scent. If you are not into that, I could see why this would be a tough sell for you. Oh my God, it smells divine. So it's a warm floral again. It has magnolia, musk, tangerine, Bulgarian rose. And I, oh, the musk for me comes through so much. I smell the tangerine. Oh my gosh, it's just like, you wear this at night. Girl, I spray this during the day. If I wanted to tone it down, you could actually actually spray a vanilla scent, the Tom Ford vanilla, you guys know which one I'm talking about, the, the, the famous vanilla one. If you spray that with this, it mixes very, very well. It tones it down, gives it an even softer scent. There's a lot of people who I know have been raving about it, but then there's a lot of people who I feel like this has been a little bit under wraps, but I am here to tell you, you guys need to purchase this. It's so, it's just that girl, like Rihanna did this. My girl Rihanna did this and I am not trying to be biased because I love her and I literally work for Fenty, I literally work for her, but this just really smells super divine and I would recommend to anybody. It is $140, but you've seen a lot of the other ones that were a lot smaller, the one ounces, the 1.3s, the 1.5s, whatever. And they were ranging in the $100 um, range as well. So to me, this is a competing price. It's no different than a lot. I mean, I just showed you a Tom Ford scent that's $349. I know that that's a big boy. I know everybody won't go for it, but if you do nothing, I do recommend that you get this one right here. Okay. Layer your scents. If you ever have something that you're not fond of, I feel like you can make any scent smell better by mixing them around, mixing them up, changing the note. So yeah, also want to note that you can only get this on the FentyBeauty.com site. We don't have it anywhere for you to like go in and smell it, but you can purchase samples. So, yeah, girl, get her while she's hot, okay? So y'all, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that I gave you a little bit of tea and some of my perfumes. I am not a expert at this, but I do have a lot of different perfumes that I 
really enjoying love to wear as you can see the trend is warm florals for me i am not really like a i don't like crazy candy smelling sweet 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 scents it needs to be rich needs to be sensual needs to feel and smell just like it like it needs to just be something it needs to it needs to be me okay if you have any recommendations for scents that you would like for me to try out for perfumes that you want me to try in the future please put it down below i'm always looking for more i do have a pretty big collection but listen every girl needs a hot perfume in their closet so thank you so much for watching this video please like comment subscribe once again share this video with any and everyone you know and i will catch you guys in my next vibe video bye